Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm going to show you the way to make perfect crosshatch marks on your steak. You know when you go to a great steakhouse and the steak comes to the table with those perfect crisscross marks on the steak? Well, it's so easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it in your own backyard. Now, the key to this, believe it or not, is the face of a clock. Imagine that this clock was on the cooking grate. The first position for your steak is going to be at 10 o'clock, just like this. The steak will cook for about two minutes. You get some nice stripes on the underside. And then after two minutes, you're going to rotate the steak to two o'clock. Now the stripes will run the other way, and you'll have perfect, gorgeous, diamond-shaped crosshatch marks. Let's give it a try. Got my grill preheated to about 550 degrees. And again, I'm going to start the steak as if it was right at 10 o'clock. Close the lid and let the sear happen. So after two minutes, this is what you get. Nice stripes going in one direction. Now you rotate the steak so that it's sitting at two o'clock. Okay, are you ready? Do you think it worked? Should we check it out? Ta-da! How about that? Now, of course, you've got to cook the other side as well. Whether you do that cross-hatched or just leave it in one position is up to you. The cross-hatching, to be honest with you, was just for presentation. It just makes the steak look great. It doesn't necessarily make it taste any better. But hey, it's your steak, your grill. If you want to cross-hatch both sides, go to town. I'm just going to finish this up for a couple of minutes. So there it is. It's as simple as that. 10 and 2. Now you know the way to make your backyard steak have those stunning, jaw-dropping, diamond-shaped, perfect crosshatch marks.